Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. Well, I totally missed the Olight sale for June. Um, well, because I wasn't on this side of the globe. But I did manage to get a few of their products to try out. And one of them is the Otackle P1. Now, as you know, I've done a video and, and everybody's been aware that the Leatherman Squirt has been discontinued. A nice, solid little mini tool kind of a multi-tool with a decent set of pliers. On the big side was the juice. Uh, there was a possibility for some, the Le or the Gerber Dime. Um, on the small end, this is a TSA approved, kind of a mini Skeletool, they call this thing, as you can see here, the style. Um, it's, a, it's a decent performer. Um, my original very first pair of uh, kind of micro uh, multi-tool pliers was this buck. You can see that buck mini buck. Uh, I don't know if they make this anymore. Um, I didn't like the way the buck swiveled here um, because often you'd be using it and it would swivel out of the way. Buck actually used this design in larger um, kind of multi-tools and uh, they ran into the same issue. You know, it would start to swivel as you were using it. Um, but overall, kind of a neat little design. Folds up nicely. Uh, but let's talk about the O-Tackle P2. So very small, or P1, excuse me, very small branding here. What does it have? Well, the primary thing is it has a pair of pliers. And as you can see, I'll compare these directly to the, to the uh, Leatherman Squirts. So you can see it's a little bit bigger little bit thinner actually on that end. Um, it is spring-loaded. Uh, it uses these aluminum scales on top of the you know the stainless steel design. Uh, overall the the pliers, the fit finish, quite good. You can see it's closing right up there. You could remove slivers with that. Uh, it does have cutters down here. Um, pretty good spring. If you close this up and then dig into the tools, what do we have? Well, on this end, there's it's kind of interesting. They've got a pair of scissors, but they're really beefy in their design. And I actually like this simply because the amount of meat on these little scissors um, gives you plenty. You know, if you're trying to cut through something hard like double fabric or leather, um, even cardboard, whereas many of the smaller scissors that are on um, some of the Leathermans like this, they're just too small. They work great for threads, uh, simple fabric, but it's nice to have, you know, a, a beefier set of shears on here. What else is on this thing? If you go to this side, you've got kind of that thin Leatherman style. This is a, a number two Phillips. On this end, over here, we've got a little slotted. If we go to this side, um, pop this down, what do we have? Kind of a combination um, can opener, bottle opener. Uh, however, this also works for you know slicing open oranges, things like that. Swiss Army, uh, the Victorinox, ha actually had a, a similar front end on one of their, their um, Swiss Army knives that work great. So if you're interested in trying to flip that around, trying to, um, you know, do a little bit of orange opening, that'll work. I don't think that was their intent, but it does work for that. And then, a, of course, a can opener. On this side, we've got their knife blade. It's using kind of a modified sheep, put, sheep foot there. Um, that's actually a good design. Sometimes Leatherman, um, like in their... Um, get one of these, uh, like in their waves. I just found these too pointed for a lot of things. Um, so it is interesting to have the option of something probably a little safer, a little more usable. Um, overall, good design. Um, it does have the ability to hook a little, whatever that thing is, um, a little, looking at my monitor here to try to find it, um, a key ring lanyard, on this thing. It's probably buried on this side. Dig it out of here. Um, 
Let's see, where is that thing? Sorry about that. There we go. Oh, it's got a SIM card tool right there. Oddly, my new phone doesn't have a, a SIM card in it. It's got a one of those um, new onboard SIM cards. Can't swap it out. It's all digital. There it is. So if you want to hook this up to a key ring or something, you certainly can. Uh, it's great. I like that they did designate it as the P1. I assume there will be more um, O-Tackle multi-tools from Olight. I think they've got the kind of the hardware dialed in. Um, so now they're going to work towards the innovation. One of the things I have noticed, though, in carrying this for a little bit, because I've got it and I missed the sale, so I get to actually use it and play around with it and not worry about any timelines, is I have pinched myself uh, three different times at least pretty good with this. Um, this is very strong the way it closes in. And uh, you can get your skin caught in there because the machining is so... Uh, so refined, but anyway, not a big deal, but compared to these others, I've never had Leatherman's uh, be so so strong that they actually pinched me. Um, I do miss the squirt. I think it's a great design. Very simple, kind of blocky, uh, but, you know, once you close a door like this, by discontinuing a product, you open it up for innovation by other companies. So there it is. Um, the Olight O-Tackle P P1. And with that, Doc out.